know studying for finals can be stressful, so before you lay down and give up, the Shorthorn asked some students what their tips to study for finals are. Third midterm tests and then review them and work through them in preparation for the final. I am really just going over like stuff that I already have, like old tests and just the reviews that they hand out. Don't stress. It's not the end of the world. That's, that's true. That's literally all I can say because like people are literally stressing out of their minds, making memes out of it. I'm like, oh god, I'm not stressing. I can't afford to get myself in that situation. Hey, I'm Mara. I'm a multimedia journalist here at the Shorthorn, and we know preparing for finals can be very hectic. So we're going to give you some tips right now on how to do that. So the first tip that I want to give you is do not procrastinate. That's probably the worst thing that you can do. Maybe start with a subject that's a little bit easier, something that you can get done faster, and then move on to the next thing. So next, you're going to want to choose a nice, quiet place to study. I chose this area right here because it's got nice open tables. I can lay my stuff out everywhere, and I can concentrate better. Okay, so let me log out of Facebook real quick, but the last thing that you're going to want to do is try and eliminate all sorts of distractions. Social media is a big one for me, and my phone is another one. So I'm just going to put this away, go on Blackboard, and do my assignments. Well, I hope you enjoyed those tips. Be sure to follow those and any other ones that you can find along the way. Studying for finals is hard, but it's not impossible. So good luck.